Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Bogle from the Royal London Hospital in the United Kingdom. Uh, back again at Link, uh, the 25th anniversary in lovely Paris. And I'm here with my good friend and colleague, Marcus Mollenbruch. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Good. So we're here to discuss uh, your very nice presentation. And the first question I'd like to ask is, uh, what, was the an what was the answer you were looking for with ASSIST? What question were you trying to, to answer? So the ASSIST uh, registry is a uh, real world registry. So we had almost no inclusion or exclusion criteria. Of course, we were focused on patients with large vessel occlusion in the anterior circulation. And the idea was to focus on uh, three different treatment techniques and we wanted to figure out which of these three different techniques is the most efficacious one. Certainly a ongoing and contentious issue amongst the balloon guide users, the aspirators, the stent retrievers and the combined fellows. So could you tell me a little about how the study was designed? So uh, we um, predefined three different treatment techniques. So one was the so-called classic approach, the use of a trevo together with a balloon guider. So then we had the stent retriever combination group, which means a trevo plus an aspiration catheter, so catalyst, and the use of a balloon guider or a long sheath. And last but not least, we had the direct aspiration group, so catalyst or vector plus a balloon guider or a long sheath. And could you go into a little bit more detail about how was enrollment uh, actioned, uh, the geographical locations, those sorts of things? So uh, in total, 71 centers enrolled 1,500 patients. Uh, so more than 600 patients were enrolled in North America and the rest in Europe and uh, South Korea. And we defined an enrollment cap for each uh, treatment technique and for each hospital there was a pre, uh, preferred technique uh, and they had a second preferred technique which means for example if they have uh, enrolled enough patients with their first preferred technique then they had to switch to the other technique. So that was the idea to balance uh, between the three different treatment techniques. Okay, so just to clarify for example if my preferred technique was the stent retriever combination, I would use that primarily. And after I had recruited a certain number of patients, then I would switch to my second preferred, which would be perhaps SR Classic. Correct. Correct? Okay, excellent. And could you summarize some of the key findings and anything that was maybe a surprise to you in those findings? So, actually, I was really surprised by um, the primary endpoint for the procedural success, which was defined as e 2 c or better. Mm -hmm. Uh, on first pass and uh, this was extraordinary high for all the groups but yeah. especially it was very high for the stent retriever classic group so yeah. almost 48 percent which means in up to 50 percent you have a first pass rate with it, with this technique mm -hmm. and for the other techniques for example for the stent retriever combination it was uh, high too so 44 percent yeah. Uh, and this was, uh, for example, for the direct aspiration, a little bit lower, but still very high, 36%. Yeah, that's, I mean, those are great results, really. And I think it demonstrates just how far we've come as a group across the world in delivering exceptional care for yes. patients having large vessel occlusive strokes. And very good, I think, on Stryker's uh, part to make the, make the primary goal tough, let's say. Yeah. Uh, I think it, it's a challenge to all of us. What do you think... What do you think are the next steps for ASSIST? So probably at the moment uh, we have analyzed the data in terms of what, is, what were our primary goals in terms of outcome and procedure success. Yeah. So we know this for each uh, pocket of the different treatment uh, mm -hmm. techniques, but now of course we have to analyze the subgroups. So, and uh, the most interesting part with this registry is that each step of the procedure was analyzed. So okay. we capture all the data yeah. and this is I think unique compared to other registries that you know so what was the intention for the first treatment strategy, why was a switch to another uh, yeah. technique and so on and so on. And this is of course for this we need 
time because it's a lot of data. But at the end, I think uh, we will have a really good uh, option to, to have at least a couple of answers to these questions. Well, with 1,500 cases, you should have some nice uh, opportunities for good subgroup analysis. Yes. Lovely. Okay. I think that's everything from me. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Marcus.